And one week after failing to appear before the House of Representatives, service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police finally appear to discuss security issues with members. And this formally kickstarts the scheduled sectoral debates organized by the 10th Legislative House on ways to address salient issues that will address the mainly socio-economic, political and security issues that have stunted the growth and development of the country. Plus TV Manuel Ehijene completes the story. Security has been a major cause of concern for Nigeria, from insecurity in the northeast to banditry in the northwest. The southeast of the country is not also spared with reports of kidnapping and killings reported daily. All these have affected the socio-economic and political life of the country with Nigeria described as one of the unsafe countries to live in or do business. It is to this effect that the House began a sectorial debate beginning with the country's security today at the Chamber of the House of Representatives. The service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police took turns to explain their stewardship and challenges faced so far since assumption of office before members. The Inspector General of Police identified poor city of fund, poor manpower, logistics, training of personnel and poor welfare for personnel. We are committed to a police force that will respond adequately and appropriately to the dynamics of crimes and criminalities in our communities. Provision of logistics is very poor in the police. We have 1,537 police divisional headquarters across 774 local governments in Nigeria. But getting vehicles, operational vehicles, for the division is difficult. Each of these divisions requires at least four functional patrol vehicles. But we have divisions who don't have any functional patrol vehicle as of today. Speaking on behalf of the military, the Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Christopher Musa, says the military has made a lot of gain in its fight against insurgency and banditry, stating that as a result, the military has captured grounds previously held by terrorist group. He, however, expressed worry over the activities of Simon Ekpa, an IPOP leader currently living in Finland, which he says is causing harm to the efforts of the military. Sadly, there is no corresponding increase in accommodation facility to cater for the basic human need for the personnel of our uh, terms of shelter. Why is most of the troops are deployed out? By the time we start reducing the strength on ground, going back to the barracks becomes a problem because there won't be enough accommodation. This development therefore poses some negative effects on the morale and fighting efficiency of the troops. This situation will also require your intervention so as to ameliorate the challenges. Issue of funding for the operational purposes. The need to, for adequate funding of the armed forces to overcome the issues of combat supplies such as ration for the troops, petroleum, oil and lubricant, equipment and maintenance through the procurement of spare parts and similar others in this category are necessary. To this end, there is the need for National Assembly to facilitate the continuous release of funds for the armed forces and the police for the purpose of overcoming the issues of combat enablers and combat suppliers, which are recurrent in nature but very necessary for sustenance of the troops. The grilling later climaxed into an executive session for further discussion. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.